Peppa Pig Tales. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Oh. <coughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Peppa off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Ooh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag? <gasps> and a fresh nappy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes helping yeah. Mummy Pig change Baby Alexander's nappy. <laughs> there, fresh as a daisy. Can Baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing Baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <sighs> Baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, Ooh. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby Alexander's painting has reminded Peppa that it's time for lunch. It's Baby Alexander's lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is Baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh, oh my! Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, let's go. Oh. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. And baby Alexander loves visiting. <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. <gasps> I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. <laughs> and another. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Nobody Ooh. knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh... Um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. 
<laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. It's Valentine's Day. Peppa and George are making a special dinner Whoops. for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Grandpa Pig is helping. My goodness! We're making special Valentine's Day pizzas, Granny Pig. Because Valentine's Day is all about showing others that you love them. I know! We can make the pizzas heart-shaped! <laughs> now, we toss the dough up into the air, just like they do in Roma. That's a place in Italy, you know. <laughs> Aha! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> just like in Roma. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. We can cover the lumpy bits with some vegetables <gasps> from the garden. Oh. Mummy and Daddy Pig are not sure what's going on. Peppa and George are collecting vegetables. The pizzas are going to have lots of toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Take the vegetables inside. Pepper and George <laughs> add vegetables to their pizza. I know how to make the pizzas even more special. We can add Mummy and Daddy Pig's favourite foods. Good idea, Pepper. What are their favourite foods? <laughs> Spaghetti and chocolate cake. <laughs> 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 We should make the pizzas look like Mummy and Daddy. Peppa and George make faces with the pizza toppings. <laughs> now they're really special. <sighs> oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Here are your extra special Valentine's Day pizzas. <sighs> Chocolate cake? My favourite! <laughs> dinosaur! A spaghetti dinosaur! Thank you, Pepper and George. <laughs> they look too good to eat. Mummy and Daddy Pig think their Valentine pizzas are very special indeed. Hey! Today is Valentine's Day. Daddy Pig loves Valentine's Day. Splendid! We need lots of decorations for Mummy Pig's big surprise. What big surprise? We're going to make a special Valentine's Day surprise for when Mummy Pig comes home. <laughs> Better get cracking. Hooray! Peppa and George are having fun making Valentine's Day decorations. And Daddy Pig is having fun hanging the decorations. Ha -ha! But Daddy Pig is not being careful. And ta-da! Ta perfect. 
Now, what's next? Hmm. <gasps> Perhaps we should tidy up. Ooh, let's make Valentine's pancakes first. <laughs> ah. Peppa, George and Daddy Pig <laughs> are making yummy heart-shaped pancakes. <laughs> Now for the fun bit, whisking. This is fun. <laughs> Peppa loves whisking. Peppa really loves whisking. Oh my. Careful. If you make too much mess, we won't have enough mix to make... Valentine's pancakes. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, we'd better get tidying. <laughs> but what about a Valentine's card, Daddy? Oh, yes. Hmm. Daddy Pig isn't sure whether to make the card or tidy up the mess. <laughs> Quickly now. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig make a Valentine's card. But Mummy Pig is almost home. <laughs> and done. Now, just enough time to tidy up before... <laughs> What's going on in here? Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day! We made you a card. And pancakes. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Things got a bit messy as we worked, but as a last Valentine's surprise, we'll get tidying up, won't we? <laughs> Mummy Pig loves her Valentine surprise, and Pepper, George and Daddy Pig loved making it and cleaning up after it. <laughs> Go long, Pepper! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are learning about American Hi, football. You. That is a very bouncy egg. <laughs> this is not an egg. This is a football. No! Footballs are round. And you don't throw them, you kick them. This is a special football from America. American footballs are egg-shaped. And you mostly throw them. Nay! Silly egg ball! <laughs> egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are dressed in American football kit. You all look great in your kit. Especially you, Pedro. Every team needs a mascot. Cock a doodle do! <laughs> now you're ready to play American football. Um, I mean, egg ball. Egg ball! <laughs> <laughs> to win points in uh, egg ball, you have to be really good at catching the ball. <laughs> Got it! Oh! Oh! <gasps> hmm. You can also get points by kicking the ball through a big goal like this one. Ooh! Peppa, would you like to kick the ball into the goal? Kicking? Like normal football? I'm good at that. <laughs> Uh, I don't think egg ball is as fun as normal football. Susie, would you like a turn? has caught the ball, so she gets a point. I did it! Now for the best part of American football. I mean, egg ball. After you score a point, 
You do a dance. Peppa and her friends love Egg Ball. Everyone loves Egg Ball. Egg Ball! Egg Ball! Egg Ball! <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant. It's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. <laughs> Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz. We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a <gasps> butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. 
Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Hello, Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Peppa is arriving at Playgroup. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, Peppa. You are just in time for a very special game. Madame Gazelle has divided the room into four colours. Red, blue, green and yellow. You can join the green team, Peppa. Here is your bib. Et voila! Now, in this game, I will give you a category. What's a category? Squeak. A category is a group of things. I will say a category, and you have to find something that matches your color. So, if I say food... That means we have to find food. <laughs> well, that was just an example, but... OK, let's begin. Everyone is very excited to play the game. Bananas! These are very yellow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tomatoes are red. Susie Sheep's blue food is a blueberry. <laughs> Nothing is bluer than a blueberry. This leaf is green. Unfortunately, Peppa, it is not food. You cannot eat that leaf. But a caterpillar can. <laughs> well done. Hooray! Now, I think the next category is toys. But let me check my list. Which I have lost. Hmm. Everyone at Playgroup loves finding toys. <laughs> that was too easy. I've got another category. What is it? Everything. <laughs> 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 Madame Gazelle is taking a long time to find her list. <laughs> found it! Now, let's carry on with... The... Oh, my! We finished the game, Madame Gazelle! <laughs> we found everything in the whole room! <laughs> well, in that case, let us play a new game. Putting everything away again. <gasps> I'm a witch. Pepper, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer! Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Peppa is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! 
That's George Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh. And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. <laughs> and I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. <laughs> oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Today, everyone is playing in Peppa's garden. Emily Elephant has slipped into a big muddy puddle. <gasps> Monster! No, monsters aren't real. It's a... <gasps> Hedgehog! Phew! The hedgehog has slipped in the muddy puddle too. Don't worry, we'll help you get out. Whoa! The hedgehog has become a prickly ball, but Edmund knows what to do. We need to get some help from a grown-up because the hedgehog is lost and prickly and we need to be careful. Oh! Mummy Pig! Daddy Pig! Mummy Pig has come to help everyone out of the muddy puddle. And Daddy Pig is helping the hedgehog. His thick gloves keep him safe from the hedgehog's spiky back. You can put the hedgehog here. There's a blanket in there so it's nice and toasty. Blanky! Wonderful. Careful now. Hedgehogs can be a little bit prickly. Hooray! I'll call you Prickles. Prickles! Dr. Hamster has come to check that Prickles is safe and healthy. It was very clever to call me for help. Hooray! Prickles has rolled up into a ball again. Why does Prickles do that, Dr. Hamster? Hedgehogs roll into balls when they're scared to keep themselves safe. Oh, so Prickles is scared? It's just a bit noisy, that's all. If we keep quiet, maybe a little bit of apple will help Prickles feel relaxed. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant have found more than a little bit of apple. And we can release Prickles into the garden when the sun goes down. Why can't we do it now? Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means they like to explore at night and sleep in the daytime. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. Oops, sorry Prickles. The sun is going down, which means it's time for Prickles to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where do hedgehogs live, Dr Hamster? Why, in hedges, of course. <coughs> Bye, Prickles. Come and visit us again soon. Everyone loves spending time with Prickles and everyone loves seeing him get home safely. Today, Pepper is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Pepper. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Pepper isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. <laughs> <laughs>